right? Then, of course, y'all know we're going to go to the, the YouTube. Uh-huh. Yes, 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 y'all. And you don't stop. All right, Spreaker, I want to say good morning to every last one of you. Great Nia. This is the Daily Toast. This is the Daily Toast. I want to thank everybody that takes the time to come out and check me out. You see uh, the Spreaker link has just went out. I'm experimenting with what's going on with this YouTube piece because I'm trying to master it. It says my live stream is off air and I don't understand why that is. Oh, okay. So it's on a different one. So I got to figure out how to put my live stream up on this. Or maybe I'll post a stream from here. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Anybody out there that has any expertise with uh, YouTube, please let me know. Um, I'm waiting for the text to go out before I officially. There we go. So the text is out. So we are officially live, family. We are officially live. Um, I owe, uh, first off, great Nia to everybody out there. Great Nia um, to uh, Brother Kwame. I see you out there. Somebody else out there. Throw a thumb so I know who you are. Throw one of those bubbles across the screen so that I can identify you. Oh, that's Miss Navita Nelson is in the house. So we got three people. Come on now. Come on now. So, yo, hey, go on, share it. Share it on your timeline. Let's get a pop up. What? Who is who? Is that a newbies? You been cool, man? Good morning. Somehow I always seem to get my text before you even send it out. Dude. Then uh, uh you got some future type technology that you need to be letting us know. Because if you get my text before I send it out, that means you get the number before it hits. So you need to be getting us all plugged into that. All right, so. All right, let me go on, get over here. It's time for us to do what we do best. Today, I can't accept that. I have to apologize. Great Nia to everybody. Let's start this whole thing over, over. Shots out to Miss C. Lowe. Shots out to Anubis. Shots out to um to Miss Navita Nelson. Shots out to Brother Kwame. And it's time to do what we do best. <laughs> Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Now lift your glass and drink your water. Now lift your glass and drink your water. Now lift your glass and drink your water. Now lift your glass. Drink. Drink, 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 drink. Now move your body, drink some water. Move your body, drink. 
drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. Now move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Now lift your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Let's mix it up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Take your breath and drink some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. And lift your glass and touch your ancestors. Breathe, move, drink, lift. Uh oh, right, hold on. Breathe, drink, move, lift. One more time, one more time. Take your breath and drink your water. Come on. Fill up your glass and drink your water. Move your body, drink some water. Now lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Drink, breathe, move, toast. <coughs> now family, get your water in you. Let's get it. Let's hydrate. That actually should be, here we go. Take your breath and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. Move your body, drink your water. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, drink, move, toast. Breathe, drink, move, toast. I had to switch the order up because I want it in order of importance. Breath is the most important thing that we take. You know what I'm saying? So even before we drink our water, family, we got to start taking our breaths, right? We got to start learning to breathe since the day is purpose. We got to start learning to breathe on purpose because that breath, is that key the breath is that key man i mean and i ain't talking about key like in martial arts but i guess it fits right um brother nuba says yep i'm great had a very good conversation with shaka yesterday i think he might be onto something that i find to be very exciting that's what i'm talking about man shaka shaka's holding it down man for the last couple of days i have not been able to do any of my shows right so shaka get up do a pre-show and keep it going or just move right into the show you know what I'm saying? And I, and I truly, truly, truly appreciate that. But you know, we like I'm I'm out here, I'm out here. Um like last night I was in a meeting. And I ain't get me and my kids ain't get home from the school until about 10 o'clock. Almost almost 10 30, actually. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, we we trying to do this work. We're trying to get this Malcolm X Festival, by the way. Save the date. Malcolm X Festival, May 19th. May 19th. We're gonna be coming in. Oh, oh my fault, my fault. Open mic. Right? We're gonna have an open mic. So we uh I'm I we need poets. We need poets. If I, you know, I'm about to send it out. I'm about to send it out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't breathe, you won't drink, move, lift, or that's right. If you don't breathe, and a lot of us don't breathe properly, you know, we're gonna have to have either go back to one of my old shows or eventually. We're going to make it back around when we talk about the importance of breathing. This is why my neck is mixed up, messed up because obviously I have not, I am not breathing on purpose. There's a lot of a lot of ailments we got, family, from some very simple things. So come on, let's drink up some water. So we're going to knock this toast out. 
because I got out of school early, right? We have the rock and roll call today. You know, it's rock and roll call near. And uh, I was like, well, I could finish up the last little bit what I need done at home. But I got home and I forgot that the link that was shared with me is on the drive at the school. So I could, I said, oh man, so I gotta get to the school early so I could put together some footage um, for, cause we got a segment called um, the hustle builds muscle, right? The hustle, right? Where we show kids doing everything that they need to do. And it's like a little uh, montage of all the stuff. And I wanna try to make sure that I, I got I got this uh, rolling today, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, especially younger kids, they love to see themselves on screen. You know, bigger kids is just, they're just so cool, man. You know, um, my middle schoolers, man, they're so cool. A lot of them are so cool, man. And it's like, you know, and I'll be trying, I'll be trying to just drop some stuff on them sometime. I'll be like, yo, man, you know, I, I understand that you running for all coolness, right? You know, you got to say stuff like, you know, I understand you running to be the coolest in the class or, you know, um, I said, but while you running to be coolest in the class, your competition out there, your same age is running to be governor of the state. Y'all do know there's a, like a 13 year old, 13 year old white boy running for governor of a state in these fit in, in the United States, right? You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm like, yo, family, you know, we have to start helping our young people set purpose. You know what I'm saying? Start, um, uh, because it's like, yo, I'm like, yo, you got to realize, family, everybody in the world wants your seat. Everybody in the world wants your seat. And you just are giving it away. And in many instances, I can't be mad at them because of because of the, the the history that they come from. You understand what I'm saying? The history we come from um, makes it okay. You know what I'm saying? I had to pull one. I had to pull a young man out the other day because uh, he was trying to impress his friends, acting like he couldn't read. When I know, I mean, it, it, you know, it's like. You know, these, you know, after you work with people for a while, you know your kids. Dude, I, I pulled them out of class. I, come, come here. No, get up. Come out the room. Right, right now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. That's just me and you. I need you to focus on me. I, don't, don't do it. You know, because, you know, at a certain age, it's like they're about to, don't do it. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like family. We have to start putting our kids, you know what I'm saying, on purpose, right? Because it's like, it's like, um, for some reason, we fall and we allow our children to fall into this motif of, first off, we're not honest about our financial situations as parents. Oh, we can get, we get our kids whatever they want. I hear this all the time. They can get whatever they want. No, the fuck they can't. Stop lying to your kids. You know what I'm saying? You know they can't get what they want. You know what I'm saying? They get everything that they want. You know what I'm saying? And then lying to them about, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to send you to college. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? We're going into massive debt, digging holes for ourselves, lying to our kids, and then we expect our kids to go to school and be able to process some of this stuff that's coming at them because they're living in a fantasy at home thinking they can get everything they get, you know, and the people be mad at me. You know what? I told Cleve, I said, Cleve, family, I said, listen, I love you to death. But family, I'm putting you in a position right now that if you fail, please understand that I am not going to have any, any guilty feelings. You have, a, I'm putting you in a position where you could fail 50 to 100 times before you ever start your adult life. And if you choose to spend all your time playing games, family, you know what I'm saying? It's only, it's only so many times I'm gonna be able to check you about that. And, and, and at some point, I have to be able 
to on purpose be able to trust you to do the right thing you know what i'm saying and it's like yo and sometimes he get it sometimes he don't he get them he could make these mistakes see because this is one of the differences that our children don't have our children are not allowed to fail they gotta get a's you they gotta you know what i'm saying you know and we put so much pressure on them but yet we get presidents like George Bush sees is allowed to fail. I mean, he got a whole movie about him being able to restart his life over and over again. We Donald the, the Great Pumpkin fail over fail over and over and over again, and it's okay. But then we tell our kids, "You gotta see how dare you." You know what I'm saying? The country is being run by people who have had opportunities to fail over and over again. And they are living extended lives. And this is one of the pieces that we really miss. This is why one of the reasons I had to bring, I, I had to do the toast. Because we have to have conversations about us being a generational people. Because we think that we are super spiritual. When in fact, when you really look at how a lot of us live, we are very material beings, family. Very material. Because we, we we invest everything in this life right here, not realizing that this life affects the next life. And when we talk about the next life, I'm not just talking about you coming back. Your eternity is passed on. If you really look at it, your eternity is passed on to your children. So this means that when the life that I'm living now is for my child, so I got to be able to pass him something more than what's passed on to me. I'm sorry. Mr. Navita says, wow, that's why. Why would a child think it's cool to not be able to read? Because this is the this this is the culture that we allow to come up around our children. When the parents basically, because I want y'all to think about this. When the parents basically abandon the school and leave the kids to their own mechanisms and tell the children that they don't have to listen to the teachers. You know what I'm saying? You have a bunch of young people coming together in peer groups, in, in peer groups where they have more respect for each other than they have for the teacher. So of course, if I'm going to be involved in a culture like that, usually the biggest ape in the jungle is the boss. Which means that usually the biggest one, the toughest one, is the one that can't be made do anything because, you know what I'm saying, if you push him too far, he might do something. And so a lot of times people avoid him unless you got a relationship with him, unless you can look him in his eyes, right? But a lot of people can't look some of our boys in the eyes because it's that warrior spirit, because they're not used to that. They don't, have, they don't understand that, you know, I come from that. So, you know, dog, you want to play? Come on, play. Let's let me. Come on. Let's, uh, come on. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, see, because one of the things that I learned from, from, my, from my grandfather was that my grandfather never really had to tell me nothing two or three times because he had warned me and trained me to understand that now, and this is going back to purpose, that if I disrespected him or his wife or his house, that he would make it his life purpose to destroy me. Now, I know that sounds kind of harsh. And I knew that my grandfather loved me. And I knew that my grandfather at any given moment could possibly take me up off this planet. Period. He ain't going to fight me. He told, I mean, he told me that when I was at, when, 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 once I started getting the muscles playing football and, you know, and I, and I tried to pop off, he let me know. He let me, he, he told me in high school and he told me when I, when, when I had to go back home to recover after, after getting shot, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and my grandmother was, my grandmother was so helpful, right? You ever had somebody that was so helpful that it's like, grandma, stop. And I heard her feelings because I asked her, I, look, look, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? He said, dude, I, listen, my wife trying to help you. Don't you ever make my wife feel like that again. Or I will I will remove you from here. Yes, sir. Simple. And we got, you know what I'm saying, those type of relationships where you're able to look at, dude, you don't know what I'm going to do. 
Right? You're right. I don't know what you're gonna do either, but you don't know what I'm gonna do. And I, I listen, and and like I don't think you live long enough to really understand what I'm capable of doing to you. I just need you to understand that. And so there's a relationship that's there, but um, yeah, they usually they're trying to imitate the toughest in the class, and a lot of times the toughest in the class is the one who is hiding the fact that he's not able to learn as fast as everybody else, right? And if that's what's going on within the school and then you don't have the parents to come in and be like checking this, right? And then the parents come in and make excuses for their children's behavior. I'm telling y'all family, this is what goes on. We allow our children to get their education accidentally, not on purpose. They're not coming to school for that. You know what I'm saying? You got girls with lip gloss, you got boys trying to impress the girls. And because, you know what I'm saying, and this is like, it's it's like definitely after third, fourth grade, you start getting, they start getting a pecking order. And then by the time they get to middle school, the pecking order in a lot of cases is set. Unless a new kid come in, it causes confusion. And then all of a sudden you got you, some, somebody's going to stay, somebody going to leave, or somebody's going to submit. And then after that order is set, right? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, and and, and it's like, that's all accidental. It's all accidental or misdirected purpose. Um, so usually the one that rises to the top is the one that's not the most intelligent. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Well, no, that's the difference. We didn't get what we want. We got what we needed. Still failing, failure. We don't teach what success looks like. Right. And, and 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 speaking of that, a lot of, I mean, a lot of us don't don't really understand that uh, uh, success looks a lot like fairy. I mean, really, shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, dude, it's it's like you got to experiment. That's what experiment is about, right? Experiment is testing things to see if it works, but we don't get time to experiment. Like, for example, you know what I'm saying? Most most black most black people in business, you you get one chance. You got one chance. There's no trust factor going. You don't get four or five times to really get into a real business. You got one time to make it work. Boys especially are encouraged to be scholars or even scholarly at all. They are geeks, nerds, punks, you name everything like this, so that is what they gravitate to. What grade was the student you spoke of? I ain't giving all that up. I remember who was, uh, I remember who was appalled versus who was teased. It feels uh, along the lines of smart boys were teased. Not just teased, but you know, y'all, y'all know how I'll be talking about that, that, that whole 80-20 rule, right? So at my school, I got 85 of the kids doing what they need to do. I mean, not just in, in, in all situations, when I think about whether I'm nation building or in the school or whatever, you got 85% of, of the people that do what they're supposed to do. You got 10%, 10 percent that that's just assholes. You know what I'm saying? It's just I'm choosing to go differently and I'm gonna cause problems. And you got five percent that can't help themselves. It's like five percent of the people, um, they just they just can't get it right. They just can't do it. So they need extra assistance. But 10% don't need the extra assistance um assistance. Usually they might be even smart and they might be masking something or hiding something, but they're on purpose not doing it and they are the ones that take up the most attention you understand what i'm saying it's like the the 10 percent that choose not to do what they're supposed to do not to go with the culture not to go with the group right takes up 80 percent of the resources so the smart kids the, the nerds the, the the computer kids the, the kids that need math they are in a sense suffering because parents are sending their kids who who want to be in that 10 percent right i want to be the the rebel you know what i'm saying right you know what i'm saying parents come in y'all targeted my baby and say hold on mama your your child is not malcolm x i have no reason to talk i'm sorry you know what i'm saying i mean really you because you got to keep it real with some of these people some of these parents your child is not malcolm x your child is not talking about no revolution your child is not coming in he's not going to change the world as a matter of fact your child is walking along the lines of consumerism and you, there's no reason that i have to pick on your child really you know what i'm saying because that's that 10 percent that suck up 
all of the resources. So a lot of the kids that we could be grooming in our community are suffering because we got parents that basically abandon the school because I want y'all to understand this about, about our school system. Not only are the kids there and and, and it's like they, they, they're in an accidental situation, the parents abandon them there because they need somebody to keep their eye on their child. That's basically what a lot of our schools, as far as the inner city, has have become. And I know y'all like, well, what about you? See, the teacher, Sister Ms. Sister Janice, said a long time ago, and I, you can't educate a child that has not been raised. We got accidental parents doing accidental things, accidentally raising kids and then unleashing them on the world. And even though it's a small number, that small number of kids utilize and burn up 80% of the resources on accident because they didn't know. And every now and then one of them, the light bulb come on and then we got us a brilliant individual. But that's one after he done burnt up 80% of the resources. Some of y'all work with people like this. Prepare the children with Malcolm X at their respective ages just so if their child is Malcolm X. I don't know. Prepare the children with Malcolm X at their respective ages to show if their child is Malcolm X. I guess, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he went to, but actually, before he went to the Detroit Red thing, you know what I'm saying? He, I, I think his pops had him pretty straight until his pops died. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so it's, you know, and when I say not Malcolm X, it's like parents will come to somebody like me and be like, yo, I'm, I'm targeting your child. I'm like, you know, you don't, don't know my history, don't know what I do. Don't know what type of person I work with. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the whole school is just targeting my targeting my child. Y'all picking on my child. You're picking on my baby. You know? And then this, this the other one that gets you. My child ain't never had below anything below an eight in his whole or her whole academic career. Ma'am, your child is only in the third grade. The whole academic career, they have never been in any trouble. You know, he's only in the second grade. You know what I'm saying? We all, you know what I'm saying? We, you know. Oh, he was, yeah, very high. It's high to CC. But then then that's that's another issue too, Kwame. We lie to some of these parents. And sometimes we might need to be a little bit honest. Your child's not intelligent. I'm, I'm just saying. I, I'm I'm just saying. You know, some of you know we got to be politically correct. You know, uh, you know. So they disguise it with with words like, uh, uh, child is uh has a lot of potential. You know, when when when, it, it, when somebody start talking to me about one of my kids with a lot of potential. Come on, man. Let's talk. Talk to me. You know what I'm saying? I do. I do what you do. Talk to me. Let's talk. You know, <laughs> perhaps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, probably. But the challenge don't start at school. You, you, you understand? The challenge don't start at school. The challenge don't start at school. The challenge starts with the truth being told at home. Baby, you have no inheritance. You got to get out here and get it. You know what I'm saying? Till we get reparations, family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'll, I, you know, I, I'll be blasting this shit on that I'll be listening to for clear. I said, baby, they, you listen, listen. At the rate I'm going, I might have to leave you this these ties that my grandfather left me. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, you know, you that intelligence starts at home. You know what I'm saying? We have parents that will drop your date. 
we drop our children off and expect the school to make the kids smart when in fact debt starts at home <laughs> i'm just trying to let y'all know man it is crazy family it's crazy you know what i'm saying and 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 like one of the things we got to do far as 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 forming a village we got to make sure that somebody we got to as a as a family we got to adapt we got to adopt the school and we got to be up in that school and some of us have to be talking to these parents because as parents and grandparents we can say stuff to some parents that the educators actually can't say see because i want every last one of my children to succeed but i'm honest i'm honest i try to be honest with them you know what i'm saying without hurting their feelings but you know what i'm saying it's like yo you, you know what i'm saying why are you allowing yourself to be punked out by that book you being punked out by that book i done just seen you right you being punked out you being punked out by you you know what i'm saying you sit up here you bullying all these kids around and you getting punked out by man are you serious you know but that you know that needs to be something that other people you know what i'm saying around be like yo boom i see that potential in you boom 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 but then what happens is and this is what we got to stop family We'll come into a room and we'll start gravitating to the one that is the loudest, to the one that causes the most confusion. And we will walk right past. And then this is what breaks my heart. We'll walk, and I did, and I'm I'm guilty of this. I've been doing this my whole life, walking right past the ones that really need us. Right past them. Right? We, we we'll go to the F student, we'll go to the D student, we go to the one that that you know what I'm saying, because he was crying the loudest and arguing the loudest, and he's getting the D. We'll walk right past that C plus student that with just a little push. That's our Marcus Garvey. That's our George Washington Carver. We're trying to, we're, we're going to the depths of hell to pull somebody out when we could have went halfway to hell and grabbed that one and boosted them up to heaven. We're allowing the ones all the way in hell to burn up all our resources. Family, we at war. There's this thing called triage, and I know this gonna hurt some of y'all feelings. There's this thing called triage. In triage, you set it up to where you got people that's gonna die, you put them over there. Those that can be saved and worked out real fast, we put them right here, and we do the surgery on them, and if we got time, then we go get the ones that are close to death. We in triage. And, and but we're doing triage backwards. We go into the ones that are severely wounded and, and, and laid out. And we're going over there trying to get them when we need these ones right here. This one could get right back on the battlefield. All they need is a pat on the back and they need to know that somebody out there care for them, even though they're going through something at home. Now we want to go get those ones that's in triage, that's about to die. Hey, I'm sorry. How y'all gonna let me follow a stupid kid at home? Someone's See, and that's the point. See, but you ain't allowed to say that. See, other parents can say that. See, I need sometimes when parents coming up there showing out, I would love for a parent to be like, yo, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now, um, I've been kind of listening, and uh, you know, it sounds like your child's stupid. And, you know, I mean, we I can't say that. I can't be honest. See, we can't, and since and since our whole world is based on untruth <laughs> and illusion, I mean, think about this. Everything that we are supposed to perpetrate in my eye, you can't be in our society. You can't do in education. You can't be honest. You can't be honest. You know my you know my baby going to be an engineer baby no nah, you need to go and put you know you need to go and get him to start working with cars right now cuz this boy has this boy has a, a a natural skill with putting things in place he might not have a mathematical skill yes and he can work and possibly get that but right now you know what i'm saying you know we approach it. it's late in life now you know what i'm saying you know um you will, will you be early for school or at this, no, probably not. I was fortunately raised at home, self-motivated, so I graduated 
in the top 10 of my class and no one even knew who I was. At and see, listen, I was getting, people was mixing me up and stuff with my friend. The teachers and one of the teachers was calling me, you know, I'm like, I don't even know, you know what I'm saying? What age children are we talking about? Listen, after, listen, middle school, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Our ancestors, right? Because like I said, pouring to them before puberty. Once puberty start and they set a mind state, you, you got to do triage. I'm just being honest with y'all. See, because puberty at puberty, sir, our children get a certain mind state. This is why we did rituals for young people when they hit puberty. This is why we did puberty right so that we could start getting them ready for reality. Right now, because there's no puberty rights, we got young people becoming men and women up under our rules, smelling themselves, not and 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 and, and moving in the wrong direction. This is why rights of passage, this is why I honestly believe rights of passage is a cultural survival mechanism because it takes the young people right when they are at the verge of becoming adults and set them in the direction of building the culture. Let them know this is their responsibility. Hey, with, with the condition of our people, many of us are missing structure and a child should not be neglected due to that. I ain't saying neglect them. Listen, listen, all I'm saying, and see, this is the harshness of war. This is what I'm talking about. As a people, we got, this is the harshness of war. Triage. We're at war. We need, we need soldiers. And what I'm saying is, are you, are we going to keep on allowing 80% of what we have to be poured into 10%? Rather than and jump right over to eighty five percent because are they doing all right? When we when we could take that same effort and 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 instead of moving that one to doing all right, we could move these eighty five to do excellent. So you saying you would rather? I mean, I ain't, I know you ain't saying this, but a lot of us the way we operate, we would rather sacrifice sacrifice this eighty five percent and not move them towards excellence. Not I'm not even sacrifice, not move them towards excellence and go and save the fifteen. And, and get this to 15 so all of us could be all right rather than moving 85 to excellence you know what i'm saying we're gonna keep everybody okay and just move this 15 try to move this 10 this 10 to 15 percent thing you know what i'm saying when in fact if you really look at it some of our young people are making choices even though y'all think they can't after puberty when a dude start getting hair on his face and he look at you he's and, and, and he says something they make decisions because I made decisions. I made a decision at 14. Um, he could own his own business as a great, uh, yes, that's right. We are at war. And I'm just talking about triage, baby. I'm, and you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I got, I'm being honest. I got 85% of my kids that's being overlooked. I had a young lady tell me the other day, I can't learn because these girls are so busy talking about, you know what I'm saying? Talking about foolishness, Mr. Brown. <laughs> you don't jump over either Stru restructure your system to accommodate uh no see what you don't understand is that because we at war navita right listen check this out because we at war the way the system is structured right you can't really push your children towards excellence it ain't my system i'm working in another system you know, people don't understand this about education right now Teachers are scrambling, even the ones that care, are scrambling to make sure that these kids can pass tests. So we got to do stuff on the weekend. So maybe we could structure something on the weekend where we can invite young people in. But you know what, Navita? It's going to be 85% that show up. The 10% ain't going to come unless you go and drag them there. My most wise wife chose one or maybe two girls who had talent, but tend toward trouble but the rest of the girls will have the talent and are mostly trouble free as the teenage girls go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, but the majority, she got the majority. We structure so that the families are improved to better raise the, see, but then now we're talking about a whole, not just a, a school system change. We're talking about a village change. We're talking about a community change. We're talking about getting our community on purpose, right? Now, and 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 we've been talking about that for years. We've been talking about that for years, right? But the but the major issue is how do you do that? 
How do you do that? That's what that's what we got to come together and start doing. We got to come together and start getting on purpose with what we're doing, family. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 like I said, we got to work with the 85 percent because it ain't gonna be because the you know what I'm saying the 10 percent ain't coming because I said because right now actually you actually you actually may have to sacrifice 10 percent because five percent want to do it but they just can't right so those ones you get you because those i mean and, and and we run right past them too because they don't necessarily have a natural skill but they wow i and i see this all the time you have kids that want to try so hard but it's just something there that there's some type of block there's some type of uh uh of uh, uh, uh not just mental but it's just like capability wise they're not able to do it and we will jump right over them even though they give their heart and they try you know what i'm saying they want they the ones that want to be in the talent show and sing but can't sing but they want to try so hard and we just move right past them mr uh the schools can't do all that they really need to do to come to school in better shape. Exactly. You can't educate somebody who hasn't been raised. It's impossible. It's impossible. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like education is a community-wide thing. It ain't just something that we turn over to some teachers. They don't have no magic formula to get these kids to understand and digest this information. Or to even start seeing reality. Hell, first it starts with us as a people talking them, talking with our young people about reality. About reality. Jordan is not reality. Michael Jordan don't give a damn about us. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, y'all might see Jordans on my kids' feet, but you know where those Jordans came from? Those Jordans came from one of those thrift stores that I was able to find, or my wife was able to find those shoes for about a dollar and fifty cents. I'm I'm just trying to be all the way honest with you, family. I mean, the the our priorities. We're not living. It's not on purpose. We're not on purpose. Let's just put it that way, and develop action plans to build the movement, the synergy, and shift the village exactly. And see, but it's not it's not the village it's not the village paradigm that is wrong. See, because you got to realize we got a we got a village. Like for example, man, there's. There's about 500,000 black people in Columbus. If not a million, I'm not, I, let's say, let's say somewhere, let's say somewhere around 400,000. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, did we get 400,000 at Kwanzaa? How about 10% of that? 40,000. Did we get 40,000 at Kwanzaa? Because 10% of 10% of 400,000 is 40,000. Do we have 40,000 at Kwanzaa? Hmm. So, do we have 4,000 at Kwanzaa? So now, we won't move down from 10% to 1%. 4,000 of Kwanzaa. Do we have 4,000 people at Kwanzaa? Okay. Now, because what we're dealing with, we're dealing with a possible 1%. Not even 1%. Because 400,000, 10% of 400,000 is 40,000. 10% of 40,000 is 4,000. And 10% of 4,000 is 400. So we're dealing with what? 1% of 1%? Or 10% of 1%? So we, we, we was close to 10% of 1%. So it's not the village. You know what I'm saying? We can make it better. By village, I mean the mindset of those that aren't raising their children, they need to shift, right? But they are, we ain't going to get all that. We ain't going to get all that. You know what I'm saying? We get who we can and we cherish who we got in our in, in our circle so that people on the outside is looking at that chair and be like, I want a piece of that. I'm just, I need to get out of here. What? Oh, snap. I just got some more bad news. Let me get out of here. So I'm going to finish this water. How we get on the subject? I blacked out. I blacked out.
But family, we're in a good place. As, as I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because we do have the numbers we got. I was just in a room full of people last night planning this Malcolm X Festival. And I know all over the country, all over the country, there's rooms, small rooms of people doing exactly what I'm doing and what Brother Kwame doing and what um, what what other folks are doing is people all over the country that want to do it. And they just don't know where, where to go. So now we're able to use this social media tool right here to spread the word. Family, you are not alone. If this is your first time on the journey, if this is your first time watching a, um, one, a video, you are not alone. You go on YouTube, there's people all around you. Just look up in your city. Look, I mean, just, 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 just start to, you know what I'm saying? Start doing, doing this on purpose and somebody's going to recognize you. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? The vibe is out. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like Highlander. You know what I'm saying? We know, we know when we walk in a room and one of us is there, we, we seeking you out. It might be a ring. It might be a way you stand in. You know what I'm saying? It might be a word that you used. You know what I'm saying? It might be the way that you're talking about the news, but we could find you. So we lift our glass to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call on that great source, that great power, and we ask for it to be present in our life and to and to enliven us and to spark in us. And 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 we we strive to recognize it all around us. And we lift up our glass and we say, I shave from their family, we move on to our personal ancestors. And let's get to this long and glorious list. We got Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin the Texas, Anna Davis, Henry Brown C, Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walter, Chris Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fien, Cleveland, Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avira Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown second, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapper, John Falaro, Marcus Q. Pittman L., Normal X, a pet mod, Rob Malika Fakir, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Hector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William, Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pulliam, Luster Brothers, Miss Edith Brooks, Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Tridge, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Carolyn D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Levita Farmer, Argo Sosu, Charmaine, I Evelyn, Deolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard, Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Erica and Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, May Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Kichler Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles, Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bolton, Charlie Hunt, Sam Sandstover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton. Sturgeon. Okay, now I know where I've seen his name. Okay, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton. Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, the Mary Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quills, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martineer, Elder Amatep Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Delma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds Stanley, Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris David, Ellis Murphy. Brother Renee added um, um, his 
his uncle Joe Davis, Joe Davis, Joe Davis, um, brother Anubis added to his list, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Sister Tiandra added Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, R.G. Finch, William Billings Lee Jr., um, brother Deshaun salutes his mother, Jennifer Sensenball. Um, I added Hazel Gaston, Jay Bradley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Sister Aisha in Dayton, salutes Stacy Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ms. Ford salutes Ruth Carter, June, June Cox, Ruth and Paul Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson. Um, uh, Dr. D salutes Dan Wilkinson Seniors. Jackie salutes Emma McClendon. Um, we added to the uh, the community list Jerry Doyle, Amina Robertson, Shabaka Ture. Um, we also got Patricia Williams. Yeah, Patricia Williams, added by Brother Kwame, I think. Um, Sister Madonna salutes Donna Hill, Richard Glebus, her mother and father. Sister Cynthia salutes Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Void Irby, Jim Gaucher, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead. Sister CeeLo added, Arch, um, added Archie Beck, Anna McGill. Brother Santana salutes his aunt Becca. Elder Greg Arnold salutes Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed. Sister Shelly I salutes, salutes Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kevin Vernon. Bradley Kim, Janie, um, Janie, Janie, Harriet Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron, Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Halsey Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Brother Kwabana out of uh, Milwaukee salutes Alex Nixon, Elder Bowie salutes John Bowie, Elder Cedric out of Chicago salutes Lester and Rachel Sanders. Um, Janelle Ross salutes Doretha Ross. And it was her birthday, by the way, yesterday. Um, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, and Leroy Stokes. Elder Ori Pianchi salutes Neely Johnson and Fletcher Swan, Maddie, and Charlie Scott. Um, Charlie Stephenson salutes Vivian Stephenson. Cassandra Holloway salutes Mona Ann. Elder Phyllis salutes Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Sister Enya salutes Margaret Towns and Mary Williams, Sister Heather um, salutes Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Patar Capshaw -Moore, Moore salutes Albert Moore, Yeye Motley salutes Miss Vanilla, Alvis Motley, um, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, and Erlington Houston. Hold on anymore. Nope. Let's check. Nope. All right. So we lift our glass to our ancestors and we say, I say, from their family, we move on to the present moment. We salute this moment. This is the moment of Nia. We lift up our glass. We activate those reticular formations and we're going to identify where we are, one purpose in our life where there are certain purposes within our community where people are activating purposes where groups are activating purpose we want to chart we want to activate the articular formation and find those identify those and share those so we lift up and we salute this moment from there we salute our children our children's children on to infinity and we will give our all to our children you know what i'm saying and we are building a legacy right you know what i'm saying so we toast them now so they will take time to toast us later. And from there, we move on to all of our relations. And last but not least, family, I toast each and every last one of you. I thank y'all for coming out and sharing and sharing time. Our numbers are growing. As you hear from the ancestor book. Um, oh, okay. I seen that, um, Sister Navita. See, we sparking thoughts, right? Tables and chairs. Is I supposed to say that on... You know what I'm saying? Tables and chairs. Oh, my. Oh, y'all don't want to see the movie. I want to see. All right. So, oh, by the way, check out uh, Sister Navita's timeline. She has a poll up for which movie 
we would like to see in this coming um in in the next coming week or so all right so make sure you check that out and this is brother Tim. i'm up i'm out and i pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are and i forgot to do the thing um we say i say i say i say i wish you peace power joy and 100 years we are out all right peace out youtube What's up? What's up?